The season is almost here, baseball-wise, and Cody Schreier joins us on the Broad Insider Show, a key shortstop for the up-and-coming Bruins on the Broad Insider Show. For Nick Hope, I'm Brian Fenley. Cody, thanks so much for hopping on with us. Awesome, yeah. Happy to be here. Thank you, guys. On top of your talents on the baseball field, I hear you're pretty good at solving a Rubik's Cube. What is the key to getting that done so fast like you do? Um... Gosh, that's that's a great question. Uh, that started way back in, I think, middle school for me. Uh, just kind of a fun hobby. But, I mean, I think the key is going step by step. You know, you got to take it row by row. Um, and, yeah, you got you to gotta really focus. Baseball players are infamous for being superstitious. So you got any superstitions, anything quirky you adhere to? Um, not much. I mean, I don't like to be too superstitious just because you don't really know the circumstances. But something uh, I have been doing for a while is I always go start with my left foot whenever I'm getting ready for the game. So I go left sock, right sock, left stirrup, right stirrup, left shoe, right shoe. Do you have a teammate that maybe has a quirk that, that makes you laugh a little bit? Um, no, not that yeah. I can think of. Maybe um, So maybe the superstitions in baseball are starting to subside a little bit. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. I mean, every now and then you see something crazy, but... I think, Nick, that was you in Little League. I think Probably. you are the one that <laughs> had, had the big superstitions. <laughs> as far as we mentioned you solving a Rubik's Cube, but how does that parallel, say, solving a picture, pitcher, reading the pitcher when you're at the plate? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. It certainly isn't just go up there and see ball, hit ball. Um, I know you, I think you hear that sometimes from baseball players, but I think there's a lot more that goes into that. Um, and like I said, it's a step-by-step -step process. You know, you figure out kind of pitch by pitch um, what, you, what your approach is going to be, and it, it totally differs from pitcher to pitcher. So why, let me, if, if, I, if you don't mind, Nick, why are you such a hard out? Um, I mean, like I said, I think I, I take a lot of pride in, in kind of taking that process step by step of figuring out each pitcher um, and making sure that I got everything covered. Uh, I'm not going to just go up there um, uh, kind of half – half ready and just being easy out. I think going up there um, through my process and, and making sure I'm a tough out every time. So with this UCLA pitching staff, a lot of guys taking on new roles this year. Absolutely. You, what's your perspective then? You've been taking on those guys going back to the fall. What's your perspective on what this pitching staff is bringing? Yeah, like you said, tons of new rule, tons of new roles, uh, tons of new guys. Um, and I think everyone's stepping up um, to whatever their role may be. Be. I don't think um, anyone's really looking to kind of go out there and not do what their role is. I think they're stepping and fitting really well into their role. One of the roles you had last year is in a game, I believe you had two home runs against Tulane. What is that for, for us folks? Maybe Nick, I mean, maybe in Little no. League, you, you were <laughs> no. able to, to do that in Little League and hit a couple of home runs. I certainly didn't. But for those who would never experience that, that can live in your headspace to hit two home runs in a game. How does that feel knowing that you were able to have such success at the plate? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that was a really special day for me. That was actually my birthday, too. <laughs> so just, just the cherry on top of everything that night. But um, that had never happened to me. I had never done that in high school, Little League, nothing. So that was really my first game hitting two home runs. Um, and like I said, that was a really cool day. So I, I kind of wanted to soak it in. And we also got the win, which was the most important part. So. And I believe this year on your birthday, you'll be playing at Dodger Stadium. That's correct. So just yes, going to that throw that out there as an aside. Yes. To go back to last season as well, you obviously got hurt, missed the last couple months. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, A, have you experienced an injury like that? And B, perhaps what you learned from it as well? Yeah, I mean, learned a ton from the injury. I have not had uh, kind of a season-ending injury like that. I've kind of had little injuries where I missed game or two here, but um, a kind of season-ending injury halfway through the year, never had that before, and just learned a bunch through that process. Um, obviously, having to sit at home and, and watch the games and continuously just being yelling at the TV with my dad, turning off the TV if it was a tough game or, or what, um, kind of pushed me to look more into kind of the off the field side of nutrition, recovery, uh, sleep, all sorts of stuff to ensure that I know some injuries it's, it's tough to avoid, but to try and avoid and be on the field as much as I can. Cody Schreier joining us on the Bruin Insider Show, UCLA standout infielder shortstop. Season opener is on February 16th on a Friday against Gonzaga, three-game series at Jackie Robinson Stadium. But you mentioned the nutrition. What does it look like for you? What are you eating every day now? 
Um, I, I'm pretty consistent with what I eat, I'd say. Um, Breakfast-wise, I always go eggs with a protein and some toast, um, bacon or sausage usually. Um, and then lunch, I love to make a sandwich, just a good old turkey sandwich. I'm pretty picky, so usually just turkey, bacon, mayo uh, on some white bread. And then dinner varies from here. They're a huge steak guy. Um, kind of learned to cook steak recently, uh, living off campus. Um, and so that was cool. And so try to make that as much as I can, but save some money every now and then and <laughs> maybe go get a Chick-fil-A or something. So, yeah. Coming out of high school, you are a big-time prospect. Could have been drafted if you wanted to. You elected to come to school. You're going to be draft eligible again in a few months. How do you feel like you're better prepared to become a pro player here soon versus a few years ago? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the mental side for sure um, is something that I've improved on immensely. Um, kind of just growing into the person I am um, and just – Coach always says just coming with more birthdays. Um, that, that's something kind of you grow into. And so the mental side of things, I think, is, is somewhere where I've really grown um, over the past couple of years here. So he says come in with it, come with more birthdays. What does that mean? That just means just growing up, um, you know, and just getting older um, and getting into yourself and figuring more out about yourself. That's, that's kind of how I've found the more mental side over the past couple of years. Speaking of your birthday, what are the perks of your birthday being March 3rd, 2003? Um, 3303. Um, and that's something actually I changed my number this year to number three um, because of I that. I wondered so, about that. Yeah. Switched it up. Um, thought, God, I've, I've never been number three. My birthday is 3303. It only makes sense. Um, it's kind of a big year for me. So made the switch over to three. Deuce actually switched. So it kind of opened up for me. Um, and then random enough, too, I'm living in apartment number three right now. So <laughs> it's all lining up for me. So Yeah, Brian, this is very convoluted. But <laughs> yeah. Deuce, who he plays next to at second base, was wearing number three. Yeah. And that's because one of the assistants, Nico Gallego, had number two. So there's this whole chain of events that yeah, exactly. uh, allowed that to take place. But I'm curious, you and Deuce came in together at the sure. same time. You guys have been playing next to each other there in the middle of the infield for a few years now. Yep. What kind of friendship and bond have you guys developed? Um, a, a pretty special bond, I think. Uh, we lived together last year, so um, it's a great friendship. Um, he, he's someone that I can go to for anything, baseball, non-baseball, on the field, off the field. Um, and, yeah, he, he's someone that I root for and, um, you know, it's, it's been really cool seeing him grow and getting to grow next to him the past couple of years. What's it like living with you? Um, I mean, <laughs> you'd have to ask my roommates that one. Um, no, I'm a pretty laid back guy, I think. Um, pretty competitive even at the house. We just got a mini hoop at our house, actually. So we've been running some around the world, some free throw contests. So um, I'd say pretty competitive, but pretty laid back at the same time. Who's got the best hoops game then? Um, I mean, on the team, I'm not sure. In our house, it's me. I'd have to say me or Dalen Reyes. Um, so, yeah. I think Nick's probably pretty good at that, too. I, I would I, think you would dominate. Mini hoop is in my past, for sure. No Lots doubt. of mini hoop. From what is in your past to what is in your future, Cody, last one from me. What are you out to prove this season? Um, I mean, go prove that we're the best team in the nation. Um, show everyone the work we've been putting in all fall, all winter. Um, we've been out there grinding um, and, and just happy for the season to get started and, and go out there and, and let it all work itself out. And for you guys to prove that, you're going to need some of these freshmen to step up. Sure. And, and every year UCLA brings in a talented group of freshmen, but there's a buzz about this group that, that there's a little special, a little, a little extra special. What, what have you seen out of them? Yeah, I mean, I think they're extremely special. Um, we kind of had the same thing when my class came in. Um, we were supposed to be that special group, but this group that came in, I mean, they, they've they outdone themselves, I think. They're, they're a group of best friends. Um, that they, They've become really close with us upperclassmen, um, and they just fit the UCLA mold and, and fit our team mold really well. See, those are the perks of being an underclassman in getting to team up with Cody Schreier, that experience. The perks of Nick and I, as we wrap this conversation on the Bruin Insider Show, is that we also get to learn, beyond talking baseball with you, how to solve a Rubik's Cube. For Nick Hope, I'm Brian Fenley. Thanks so much to, to Cody, and appreciate you doing this. Cody Schreier, UCLA yeah. baseball standout, getting ready for this upcoming season. Appreciate yeah. you so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.